Let's not forget where lobsters live. The ocean depths aren't exactly forgiving. Cold, pressurized environment slows their metabolism, which also helps prolong their life. Lower temperatures reduce cellular stress and environmental damage. But it also means they live in near constant danger from predators like cod, octopuses, and even other lobsters. Cannibalism is real in the lobster world. Younger, weaker lobsters are often preyed upon by larger, older ones. So even if a lobster is biologically capable of living 100 years, survival is never guaranteed. Every year lived is a victory, earned through battle and survival in the harshest conditions. And then there's the question of reproduction. Unlike many animals, lobsters become more fertile as they age. Older females produce more eggs, and the offspring have higher survival rates. This evolutionary advantage ensures the continuation of strong genetic lines. But breeding also brings dangers. During mating season, lobsters are more aggressive and vulnerable. They expose themselves during courtship rituals and often get injured. So while reproduction is necessary for the species, it also increases the risk of death for the individual. Every act of survival comes at a price. Fishermen have long recognized the value of older lobsters. Many regions have laws protecting large lobsters by prohibiting their capture. These breadstock lobsters are released back into the ocean to keep the population thriving. But illegal fishing and overharvesting still threaten these ancient creatures. The lobster that survived for decades could be taken in a single net. Years of evolution and resilience undone in a moment. Conservation efforts help, but enforcement is inconsistent. 